Hi everyone, welcome to the new year of 2021 and welcome to the WOW History Channel. My name is Ron Guth and each week I present a historical topic that hopefully will make you say wow. This week I'd like to introduce you to an American holiday that was popular in the late 1700s and most of the 1800s but which has largely disappeared today. That holiday is Evacuation Day. Now, what is Evacuation Day? Evacuation Day took place on November 25, 1783. It was the day that British forces left New York City for the last time following the Revolutionary War. Now, this was a really big deal because British forces took over New York after George Washington abandoned the city on August 27, 1776, and for the rest of the war, almost seven years, British forces occupied one of the most important cities in America, which was New York. Now, virtually all of the residents that remained in New York during that time were loyalists. These were people who were loyal to King George III of Britain. Thus, the loss of New York to the British was a major blow to the Americans. You'll recall that the Americans effectively won the War of Independence on October 19, 1781, when American and French forces defeated Lord Cornwallis at Yorktown. British forces continued to occupy New York, and it wasn't until the Treaty of Paris was signed on September 3, 1783, almost two years after the Battle of Yorktown, that the Revolutionary War came to an official end. But even after that, it was more than two months before the British forces and Loyalist refugees finally evacuated New York. At noon on November 25, 1783, the evacuation of New York was complete, and George Washington and his troops rode triumphantly into the city. From then on, November 25, 1783 was known as Evacuation Day. Now, Evacuation Day was celebrated every year up through the 1800s, but it began to decline in popularity. And today, hardly anyone, except for hardcore historians, pay attention to it. Now, why did this important holiday disappear? Well, think about the date, November 25th. Can you think of another holiday that might have interfered with it? How about Thanksgiving, which takes place on the fourth Thursday of November? Now, Thanksgiving was not always celebrated in November, but once it was made a national holiday, it either landed right around Evacuation Day in November, and occasionally it actually took place on the same day. So as a result, Evacuation Day holiday was pretty much overwhelmed by Thanksgiving, and hardly anybody celebrates it today, and virtually no one knows about it today. One of the more interesting parts of the Evacuation Day celebrations held each year included a greased pole climb. Before the British left New York, they nailed a British flag to the top of a pole and then greased the pole to make it impossible to climb and take down the flag. But the Americans nailed cleats to the pole and a man named John Van Arsdale climbed up and replaced the British flag with an American flag just in time for the British to see it as they sailed away. Here's another thing the British did to upset the Americans on their way out. Under the terms of the Treaty of Paris that ended the Revolutionary War, the British were supposed to return any slaves that they had under the, their control. Now, these would have been slaves that were offered their freedom in return for fighting with the British against the American colonists. Now, naturally, the American slave owners wanted their slaves, their property, returned to them, but the British refused to honor that request, and many of the newly freed slaves sailed off to England where they could live out the rest of their days as free people. Now, Evacuation Day is an example of, of an historical event that fades in our memories over time or which is replaced with another holiday. So the next time you're carving your turkey on Thanksgiving Day, give some thought to November 25th, 1783, the day the British evacuated New York. Thanks for viewing this video. If you like historical videos such as this, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's easy. Just click on the subscribe button and you're done. No emails, no spam, 
no privacy violations, no unwanted solicitations. You'll be supporting this channel free of charge and you will earn my undying appreciation. I'll be posting more videos like this on a regular basis, so I'll see you next time and until then, goodbye.